So we're here at the uh, day three of the Environmental Film Festival, and uh, um, I had an opportunity to see the film. I enjoyed it uh, quite a bit. Can you guys talk a bit about how the film got started and and uh, what what the process was to you know put it all together? So in 2010, I made my first full-time trip where I was working with a conservation organization, organization in Alaska, and I had the opportunity to visit five different wilderness areas, um, working as their media outreach coordinator. And through that experience of seeing these extremely remote, incredible wilderness areas, um, you know, both myself and the organization realized that this was something we wanted to share. And then as the 50th anniversary of the Wilderness Act was rolling around in 2014, we started to realize, you know, this is the, this is our chance to try to celebrate, you know, one of the most incredible things that our country has to offer. And also the Tongass National Forest, which has more wilderness areas than any other national forest. And so um, we worked on the film for a while, and then the Forest Service decided to back the film as well. And so that was kind of the turning point that made the film, um, you know, give us the access to these remote areas, the contacts, and uh, the logistical backing we needed to make make this film a reality. Okay, all right. Uh, well, you guys touched on it, or I should say the film touched on uh, what the wilderness and what nature means to people. Uh, Jumping off of that, do you think that that fascination that we, you know, we as uh, people have uh, with nature or with the wilderness is very, you know, transparent, something that's very obvious, or do you think that it's something um, below the surface, uh, below the surface, um, something that's, you know, a little more uh, subconscious? The film *The Meaning of the Wild* explores this idea of wilderness, and I think it really does it from a holistic viewpoint. It says, here is what a legal definition is, but it really doesn't end at that. Wilderness can be, for some people, a place in their mind. They may never go, but to know that place exists is an incredibly meaningful experience. Other people use it as a place to challenge themselves. Other people as a place to to meditate and to find themselves. I mean, wilderness is not just one thing, but we know it's incredibly important, but putting your finger on that can be incredibly challenging as well. So finding out the true definition of wilderness is something that the film sets out to do. Okay, all right. Uh, Now, in this film, uh, uh, Ben, you have an opportunity to to meet uh, a lot of uh, people, you know, over the course of your travels, a lot of folks that are, you know, guiding you through the various uh, uh, wilderness uh, um, areas or locations that you have in Alaska. do you have an opportunity to, to still keep in contact with them, or you know, have you kind of uh, lost contact with them? So I've kept in touch at some level with a lot of the wilderness rangers. Some of the rangers are really hard to keep in touch with because they're in the field the whole time. Um, but um, the people I've kept in touch with best are Blaine and Monique on the sailboat, and uh, I think they, they were just so excited that they could share the experience that they give their clients with me and also that – kind of the film itself touches on really what they're trying to do. And so um, that's that, you know, they, they, they have been very adamant on keeping in touch and, you know, trying to figure out how they can get the film out there and get excited. But I know that some of the other people at the Forest Service, too, are extremely excited. Don was very excited that we got him up in that tree. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so um, especially now that the field season is starting again and I'll be heading up to Alaska, you know, I'll probably retouch base with a lot of them and get to see, you know, get their reactions, get their, their feedback on how okay. they feel like the film went. Yeah. All right. Very tough question. A lot of places <laughs> I would love to go. Oh, my gosh. Um, this is a question that's constantly asked to people who do wildlife and nature stuff. And um, I've wanted to go to Mongolia. That's a place that I've really loved, wanted to go, but I've also really wanted to go to Borneo. I'd love to see um, orangutans, <laughs> but you know, it, it's hard. It's like for the for me, this project was about was about sharing a message about wilderness, and the location was the backdrop in this incredible thing. But the you know the value was in is in the idea and the the lessons that we learned from these folks. And so I'm not sure what's next. You know, I work in television just like JJ, JJ does, and so you know I may be jumping on some TV shows. But I think that, you know, the next independent project will be probably something, you know, in a, cinema, in a similar realm of trying to, um, trying to make, make, some, make a film that, that breaks the mold a little bit and gets people um, 
that maybe aren't engaged in, in something really engaged in it. And so that, that was kind of the goal with this film and connect, connect folks with wilderness in a way that really maybe hasn't been done or in a little bit different way. And so hopefully, you know, the next project will do that too. Okay. And, and I think when asked what the next project is, you know, when you consider a film like Meaning Wild, and Ben knows this better than anyone, a film that's four years in the making, I mean, when that film finally comes out, it, you really have to honor it and, and give it its due. So I think <laughs> just, just getting the film out there, trying to get it in front of as many people as we can, and, and really asking ourselves, you know, what, what is wilderness and what does it mean to you, and not kind of a static, traditional storytelling way, but in a way that's really kind of charismatic and unique. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for your time, and uh, uh, good luck with you. You know, with the you know the further travels of this uh, film, with you know all the other uh, film festivals that you have uh, coming up. Appreciate that. Thank all you. right.